Um, today we're gonna go and look into our beehive. So I'm gonna get a little bit of footage of checking out the bees, seeing how they're doing after we did our um, honey harvest. So we're, uh, it's been three weeks, almost a month, so looking forward to it. Washing my suit. Can I grab one? Okay. I love your little giveaway. Did you do it yet? Uh, yeah, it's running. We're gonna give it away in a couple days from now, I think. So, Sweet. yeah, just two, two little jars. So get cute. some people to follow. Just trying to invest into what we're doing every day, yeah. what we love doing, yeah. farming, animals, bees, all that yeah, stuff. So. I love it. I love it. Let's walk around the apiary and see what else is going on. Okay. It's two months that I hardly opened up the hives because the robbing was so ridiculous. And that was in Wailua. Yeah. And A bunch of mushrooms, huh? Yeah. On this stump. Isn't it fascinating? They say that that's a huge, like, really, really good sign of, like, your soil health. That's great. And that you have, like, you know, just a really good, healthy microbiome that's happening in your soil. Yes, I get so excited about it, and I wonder what it is. And then, you know what happens is that, like, I think the boar eat them because... Oh, and then they just disappear? Yeah, they disappear, but then they come back, and yeah. they're always about this size. Yeah, well, I mean, once you have the spores of it, they're, I mean, it's it's a fungi. It's hard to get rid of. Yeah. Kind of cool, huh? Yeah. Super cool. Emily and I are, like, looking at, like, new products and things like that that you can just like make your own little oh yeah wall or you know enclosed humid space to grow mushrooms you know there's like a bunch of those like lion's mane ones that are super good for your yeah. your brain health and all that kind of stuff yeah. i mean you can grow so many different kinds and I, use them for different things totally and yeah and it's like this tiny little one and they're like that'll be like this size in three days you know it's like yeah. they grow so fast right. 
right. and then you can just take off the whole thing and then harvest it and then again like I was like that is really sustainable and like yeah. super cool yeah, and yeah, like yeah. really good for your health there's a lot of like yeah. benefits in mushrooms so yeah 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 absolutely yeah. I got I got some pictures from Whatever, it's all good. It's just beekeeping. It's how it goes sometimes. So no stress. More of like a transition time where they're like, holy moly, like what the heck? Where's yeah. the honey? And then they just start up again, like are, I said, on bad behavior. Are all of these yours in that lower spot? Or all something? of these are mine because of this space. Like yeah. this is just not a good space for beekeepers to be up in. Uh, do you know what kind of banana trees these are? Apple bananas. Are they all? Really? They're all apple bananas. They're so tall. I know. They're ridiculously tall, which is a bummer because when you, you know, harvest them, sometimes <clears throat> they smash the bananas. Yeah. And like, Mark, as you can see, it looks really different. I don't know if you remember. No, it was chaotic. Like, it was really jumbled in here. Yeah. So it looks yeah, way more it's organized. It's moving through. It hasn't gotten down there. It's... But um, we want to build this up as a food forest because if you look in here, we have... Avocado? Like, yeah, this is avocado, and this is ulu. Ooh. And avocado. Um, is that? Yeah, this is a this was chopped down, but it's and like we have all kinds of volunteers. And then here's that cacao. Where is it? Yeah, right there. Those big long leaves. Right on the corner. Yeah, right. Oh, these yeah, ones. Right here. This one right right here. here. Right there's here. one That's little the got cacao. little cacao right up in there. Yep. So I really want to grow this. As when I was on my mission to get out of like yeah. white clothes and get like dirty yeah. again and like being like using a pitchfork I lived for it like I was like uh, it was so much more fun yeah because you you're so used to like just being dressed nice all the time you want to go and like Wearing I'm someone tie. who likes to be just working like, in the land yeah and th one of the guys is like a rancher and uh, the other guy is just a big football player so they're both like beefy guys uh -huh. so they can make some work out of this for two hours I would be so grateful yeah let me know and I'll come over with them with like the first time and then a few okay. times you can just set up like a weekly thing and then just like just say hey guys I would love help with this and they are wow. they are very very helpful well, they get so much done with me so really? yeah like oh my God. we just planted a, another like 180 square foot garden bed wow. um, so we're gonna plant the bananas that we got from the banana festival oh yeah I have a couple that I got there too yeah we bought four no five new stands looks like maybe three or four will make it one of them doesn't isn't looking too healthy well I'm sorry that this was not no, that's fine. More productive. And this is how we take our trash can back from the road. Just out the window. Hold on to it and go. Alright, back home. It's a good time with the bees. It's good to see them. Just got to see a little bit from the outside. Yeah. We're not in a safe spot to open up today so kind of explain that more in case you didn't get it but the there's a bunch of robbing going on right now where there's just a lack of honey and the the bees from all around are trying to get into all the other bees hives to just get any honey that they can so they end up just robbing a bunch which ends up being super dangerous for um, the hives because they end up getting robbed and they don't have the honey for you know when it comes winter time and then they can starve and um, and suffer so if we were to open up our hive today we would have ended up pretty much hurting the hive and what Katie was saying I like I like the message a lot is that the reason we are beekeepers is we go into hives to help the bees and to help manage them and when we put you know our own interests before the bees and we want to go in and see them because we love them and we want to see how they're doing if it's actually going to hurt the hive, then it's really actually counterintuitive and not with the right intention. So as bee keepers, we go in to help them. And by opening it up today, it would have actually caused more damage and could have put them in danger. So that's why we didn't go in today, but that's fine. We got to kind of just see how they were and the outside and 
see all the rest of the apiary um, and just see kind of Katie's line and talk with her and it was great. Um, it was still a really good day. So got our little bananas right here. Just doing awesome. Like they're pumping right here. This banana tree's doing pretty good, but it's just a uh, it's in the wind so much. So it just kind of gets wrecked. All the leaves break. Make it harder for it to get sun, but it seems to be doing well. day so far we will see there we go get the level we'll see what else we do today I think we're gonna hop into the garden and do some planting and get some things maybe weeded out and maybe transplanted in different spots and then just plant some new things so that's what we'll uh, we'll get back in touch with you then check out and let the storm pass. out here and we'll water stuff and get the eggs and get kind of some of the plants taken care of and then immediately out of nowhere Hawaii decides it wants to rain and then <laughs> you just your plants are just getting extra water but yeah it just started pouring right as I started watering and now it's kind of stopping so so is the situation with Hawaii when you're trying to take care of plants sometimes mother nature just wants to take care of it all for you
and then we have a skate ramp. So this is our ramp here, and uh, maybe one of the days I'll, I'll go back there and do some skating and show you what I grew up on. It's been there my whole life, but it's starting to rain again, so I'm going to go in. Thank you for uh, tuning in and watching us on our last couple days, We're just taking care of the land, doing the plants, animals, and going to the bees as well. It's been a been a it's been a good couple of days. We've had some good rain. <laughs>